Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Bring the Juice podcast. This is Derek Larger again, and today I am going to be giving you guys a rundown of some of the top free agents, in my opinion, that the Colts should continue to look at throughout the next few days. So, obviously, the free agent period has started, uh, pretty much started two minutes ago since I started recording this, but... Yeah, right now I'm going to run down some free agents that I think that we should sign. Uh, We look at some of the positions of need for the Indianapolis Colts right now still. The quarterback has obviously been taken care of at this moment in time with Phillip Rivers, so that is not much of an option for free agency. But we still need wide receivers and tight ends, and you could still look at an option for a defensive tackle even after the Buckner signing and could look into our secondary as well. So here's a couple of guys that I think we should take a look at signing, and also uh, I'll run down a few names of some people that I think we should not uh, go for that that I've heard mostly from Colts media. So first guy I think we should take a look at, and I'm not doing these in any particular order. These are just guys I'm talking about. But number one guy I think we should look at is Robbie Anderson, uh, just coming off of the Jets uh, as a wide receiver, and right now his cap is at $3.1 million. Uh, Robbie Anderson is a very intriguing option. Uh, as a guy that's definitely uh, walked around from place to place, you know, trying to find that settle home. And on an offense that really struggled with the Jets this year, uh, Robbie Anderson was one of the few bright spots. Uh, and I think he's just one of those low-risk uh, high potential kind of guys. He's only 27, so still a young guy in this league, not not very old. And that's what I try to go with is guys that are you know going to be at that age where you can still get something out of them. And Robbie Anderson does definitely make some sense here, uh, playing with Philip Rivers. Uh, I definitely think Robbie Anderson's a good one, and just being so young and right now you could probably get him for chunk change. Uh, that probably be really good idea. And here's a guy that a lot of Colts uh, Twitter has been talking about as of recently is Shelby Harris, defensive tackle from Denver. Uh, Had some injuries over uh, the last year and a half, but uh, this last year he actually played really well. And his cap hit is right around the same as what Robbie Anderson's was. And Shelby Harris is only 29. You know, he's still got a couple of good years left in him if the Colts are thinking about, you know, like he said, improving the re- the roster as it stands now to the point where it would get tremendously better. Uh, Shelby Harris, I think, right now could be uh, better than what D- a Danico Autry or a uh, Grover Stewart would give you. Uh, Shelby Harris just would be a great addition to that. Uh, another guy that... We've been talking about uh, recently, and it's a name that the Colts have been linked to here recently, and that is Delaney Walker, tight end from the Titans. So this one I know kind of goes against my age argument. I know Delaney Walker is is definitely older. I understand that, but it's a it's a pick where if the Colts wanted to just give Philip Rivers that option right now for the next year or two. Delaney Walker is still a very fine option. Uh, Obviously, over the last few years, the passing offense for the Titans has not been, you know, very fantastic. And, you know, many a few years ago, Delaney Walker was like the number one target for the Titans uh, for multiple years. I mean, this guy is definitely a proven tight end. Uh, just for, forget about his age for a minute. The tight end position is something that we could think about. And, you know, with the depth that we need at tight end, you know, it's not a bad idea to think if you can get Delaney Walker for a short, for a small deal, that could definitely be another weapon that if staying healthy, Delaney Walker can definitely do a lot for the receiving part of this, of this passing offense for the Colts. I think it would be an intriguing idea. And another one that is a little weird, uh, it's Ha Ha Clinton Dix, uh, only being 27, uh, being a free agent. I don't think that the, uh, Packers are planning to bring him back, uh, at least not at the moment, but him being 27 years old, uh, that would be 
an intriguing option if they're just trying to get another piece added. But that also could mean that, you know, they probably wouldn't go for that because Dix would probably want to start right away. So, but again, it's just another option that they could think about signing because Clinton Dix is proven. He is a guy that has had some good seasons with the Packers. So I think it's definitely worth looking at for sure. And another one uh, who I don't think has signed with anyone yet uh, as of yesterday, uh, and that is Brashad Perryman, a uh, wide receiver from Tampa. So Brashad is six foot two and 200 pounds. He's got good build. Uh, he's got good frame for a six foot two guy. Uh, certainly would be one of the taller wide receivers that we have uh, out there on the field. And he's only 26. I mean, he's young and he had his personal best season last year in Tampa and they said that, you know, with him matched with Taylor Godwin and Mike Evans, uh, Perryman actually had some really good uh, games. And he actually had the uh, his final three games of last season actually finished with a uh, his last three games of receiving 100 yards or more. So he's definitely uh, had some ups and downs, but this last season just kind of showed you he can be a reliable target if you uh, throw him the ball. And, you know, being 26 and having that, that's another option for the Colts to uh, fill that wide receiver depth that we're so desperately looking for. Uh, and there's a lot of other guys that I can name here, but I'm just going to stick with these five. And that's just five guys that right now make sense to me that the Colts would uh, think about signing. So Robbie Anderson, Shelby Harris, Delaney Walker, Ha Ha Clinton Dix, and Brashad Perryman. And here is uh, a few of the free agents that are a no. I, there's a lot of them that are no, but these are kind of names that I've been hearing about for Colt's sake. Uh, just a week ago, I think it was about a week or two ago, Cody and I did a video on Jadavion Clowney. And we we're asking, you know, what do we what do we think about getting Jadavian Clowney? Well, most of you said no, uh, <laughs> but I, I am also going to say no here, just simply to the fact that now we have Buckner. One, we don't need Clowney. Second, there's no way that we could afford him at this point because Clowney's going to want roughly the same kind of deal, and we couldn't afford that right now. Uh, there's so many other things that we could be spending our money on. Uh, and it, it just doesn't seem like the Colts are linked to Clowney at all. So it just makes sense that the Colts would just stick with Buckner and uh, ha and try to find some other uh, B-level kind of guy. And another player that I'm thinking uh, that the Colts should stay away from is Emmanuel Sanders. Uh, there's a couple wide receivers that I've been saying, you know, shouldn't go near. And Emmanuel Sanders is one of them. Uh, Emmanuel Sanders being 33 years old, uh, it's just not a great option to, I mean, we've all been talking about T.Y. Hilton getting into his 30s now. Uh, there's, why would we want to get a older wide receiver, uh, despite the fact that Emmanuel Sanders had a good season last year and remained relatively healthy, uh, I don't know if he's going to actually hit the market that well, and him being so old, I just wouldn't even try that. And then another guy that I think that the Colts should restrain from, and it's somebody that I've heard both ends of the aisle, but a lot more saying they should. I am going to stay away from Chris Harris Jr., the defensive back out of the Broncos. The only reason I say this, and I want to make sure I have this age right, I, I think I saw it, but I mean, from what I saw, yeah, Chris Harris Jr., he's 31, about to be 32, uh, and he moved – you know, he moved to the outside this last year um, as a instead of being a slot corner, moved to the outside uh, and his production just was really, really bad. Uh, Chris Harris Jr. is that guy where, you know, he's much better in the nickel spot. He's just a slot corner better than anything. And, you know, just even last year, we were talking about how you know, besides Kenny Moore, we we're talking about Chris Harris being the, you know, the best nickel corner out there besides Kenny. And, you know, it, he had Chris Harris just did not have a great year this year. And 
you know, with him again being in his 30s and he's not his production is just not going to get much better. And we don't really need him, given the fact that we have Kenny Moore and we and he's not going to want to take a pay cut. And we're going to have to give him a, a considerable amount of money, not crazy money, but enough to entice him to come over. So I, I just think that that's just too much of a task to try and ask the Colts to do. And so basically to run down here, free agents that are no for me is Jadavian Clowney, Emmanuel Sanders, Chris Harris Jr. Like I said, there's a bunch of others that I would say no to, but that's just names that were linked to the Colts a lot. All right, guys, thank you so much for listening to this. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, throw some throw some uh, names at me and ask me uh, what my opinion is on these guys. Uh, I would love to hear your opinions on it. Uh, Want to see what you think of certain guys, and then I can – Maybe answer in the comments uh, or, you know, on Twitter if you have it. Uh, be sure to uh, ask me and I might uh, just respond. I might respond to you guys. Uh, thank you guys again so much. Appreciate it. And go Colts.